I'm Dan Graziano and I'm here with HTC's latest flagship device, the HTC One M8. This phone is faster, has a bigger screen, and even more features than its predecessor, the HTC One. One of the main selling points is the rear camera. Unlike Samsung, Nokia, and Sony, who continue to push megapixel counts higher and higher, HTC is banking on its new dual camera to win customers over. The HTC One M8 includes an updated ultra pixel rear camera, which in reality is a 4 megapixel camera with better low light performance. It also has this, a second depth of field sensor that sits above the main camera and allows you to refocus your photos after you take them. After snapping a photo, view the image in the gallery, click on the edit option on the lower right hand side of the screen and select U focus. Then just simply click on the object you would like to focus. The foreground and seasons tools use the depth of field sensor to recognize the different layers in your photo and apply special effects to them. The foreground tool has four options, sketch, zoom blur, cartoon, and colorize. The sketch option will apply a graphite sketch to the background of your image. The zoom blur will dramatically blur everything except for the focused object. The cartoon mode will make everything in the background look cartoonish. And the colorize mode will change the background to black and white. The Seasons feature adds a seasonal flair to your images, such as snowfall or flowers, while the Dimension Plus tool uses the depth of field sensor to give you a sort of 3D view of your images. Tilting your phone will change the perspective of the image and give you a sense of depth. It's similar to Apple's parallax wallpaper in iOS 7. These images can then be saved at a new angle or as a Dimension Plus file for later viewing. Unfortunately, these features are not available for burst photos while using the Zoe camera or in modes like HDR, portrait, or landscape. In fact, the U-Focus, Foreground, Seasons, and Dimension Plus features are only available for photos taken in auto mode. The phone does include a Photoshop-esque touch-up menu, which includes a wide range of options for editing photos of people. You can smooth out a person's skin, contour their face, remove red eye, and more. Of course, the M8 also includes plenty of Instagram-like filters and frames, as well as tools for cropping, rotating, and flipping images. For more how-tos like this one, be sure to check out howto.cnet.com. As always, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with questions or comments. I'm Dan Graziano for CNET. Thanks for watching.